everybody. Uh, good morning um, on this Sunday morning. It is day 11 of my Dating Myself Challenge, uh, part of my 90 days of dating myself, um, inspired by my first run of 90 days without binge eating. Um, and 76 of those 90 days ended up uh, being without binge eating. So now I am continuing this trend. Um, you know, moving towards uh, my next journey towards growth, uh, which is learning how to date myself over a 90-day uh, period. And the way I'm doing this is um, I have made a list of all of the needs, you know, that I typically have from any kind of romantic partner, and I am applying that toward uh, actions that I'm going to do towards myself. Um, and I basically listed all of the values and all of the actions, and randomly I pick one each day that I am going to practice. Um, and today, um, what I picked is live according to your own values every minute of every day and or every minute of today, um, you know, since uh, this is the activity that I'm focusing on. And it's interesting that I picked this for today um, because out of all days um, today, I am going to support a um, peaceful Black Lives Matter protest uh, led by youth of color. Um, a lot of people in my community are standing up to join. And it is, I think it's going to be a great way of, you know, really showing up for the community and uh, having the chance to, um, to really stand up and say, here I am. I'm an ally, I care about this, what can I do to help? Now, the way, the reason why this overlaps with um, dating myself and like the relationship and intimate partner sphere is something that's really important to me in a relationship is shared values. You know, um, my, uh, when I was married, um, you know, one of the things that really contributed toward our bond in the marriage was shared values. You know, we were definitely on the lot, a lot of the same page with uh, social justice issues and kind of uh, bigger, bigger picture uh, values that, and that's important to me in a relationship. And you know what I, part of what I want to show myself during these 90 days is that ways that I can get those needs met that aren't necessarily being in a relationship when they're present. So this is kind of the perfect activity for today. Um, and in addition to, uh, to going to uh, this peaceful protest, I also, um, I have a list of, you know, all of my core values, you know, listed on my wall. And I took a look at that list today. And, um, you know, really at the top of those values are mental health and peace of mind. You know, those two things really matter more to me than anything else. Because if I don't, if my own mental health is not intact, um, you know, if I'm not in a place where uh, my mind is at peace, other things can fall apart or, um, you know, I can act without like integrity very easily. Like it really can have kind of a ripple effect on um, a lot of other things in my life. So, you know, and I think at, at these kinds of events, um, sometimes I can get kind of swept away by my feelings, feelings of excitement, feelings of anger, you know, like, like whatever might come up. So, you know, in addition to standing up for the value of the, the social justice values that I believe in today, I'm also going to focus on staying grounded um, and not doing anything that sabotages my, sabotages my peace of mind or mental health. Um, so that is day 11 for today. Thank you for tuning in. And I look forward to um, connecting with you all tomorrow for day 12. Thanks.